Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of an HP EliteBook 8460P refurbished laptop. I got it from Newegg for about $137 after all taxes and shipping and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good deal. I actually got it on sale too for that, that Labor Day event they had going on. This laptop is loaded with some pretty good components. It has an Intel Core i5-2520M, which is a Sandy Bridge, and the base clock is 2.5 gigahertz. When the laptop was initially released, I'm not so sure how much memory that it came with, but mine came with four gigabytes of DDR3 memory running at 1333 megahertz. I was initially looking to buy a new laptop in the $400 to $600 range, but I was hesitant to even spend that much. I'm really not a fan of laptops because for the most part, you trade performance and quality for convenience and mobility. Unless a laptop is like upwards of $1,000, you're not really getting that much for you for what you pay for, in my opinion. And before I forced my unwarranted opinion on you all, I should have said that I'm speaking in terms of doing video or audio work and possibly playing some games at very low settings. And now, with all that being said, I needed a laptop where I can work with programs like Unity without any major hiccups. I felt like an i5 from any generation would be good enough to work with some very light 3D work and rendering. And as you'll see later, I think I made a pretty good choice. One thing I found out after I bought this laptop is that you can upgrade the processor, which really excites me. I currently have an i7-2820QM CPU on the way right now that I got off eBay, and I don't expect much performance gains, but I think the extra cores will be beneficial when working with Unity and other audio or video software. One thing I forgot to mention is that this laptop came with a 320 gigabyte Western Digital Black laptop hard drive. And another thing I forgot to do was record the uh, boot time of the computer, because after I got everything set up, I wanted to compare the SSD performance that I have in there now to the WD Black. And also I want to apologize for the, you know, sort of sideways camera angle. I tried my best to get it to be centered and nice, but for there's like my floor is uneven or something. But speaking of the laptop, it came in pretty good condition. The screen was clean, there was no cracks or anything. Some of the keyboard is worn down, but as you saw on the other shot, I mean the top of the keyboard is it looks brand it looks brand new pretty much. Everything looks brand new. Currently we're coming up upon the weirdest part of the setup process of Windows 10. Watch listen. Hi there. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. Yeah, sure you are, robot. I don't know why, but that part is just always so weird to me. It's it's creepy, Microsoft. Please take that out of all Windows 10 installations. Anyways, the laptop is running pretty smooth. Uh, as soon as, as I was going through this entire setup process, it's just the difference between my last laptop, which had a pretty recent i3 in it. This one is just miles ahead in terms of speed and responsiveness. I've I love it so far. After everything was set up and I got Windows verified and all that stuff, I installed my SSD and I put two four gigabyte sticks of DDR3 memory rated at 1600 megahertz. However, I did not do enough research when buying this laptop because Sandy Bridge could only run up to 1333 megahertz. And even with the low speeds, the laptop still runs pretty great. And as far as gaming, which was not my intention when buying this laptop, uh, games like StarCraft 2 and Diablo 3, which are pretty intensive on the CPU, run fine. Uh, you have to play them at very, very low settings, but you know, it's as long as you don't mind 30 FPS, which I do mind, I can take a break and just play those games just for a little bit. When the i7 gets in, I'll be doing a just a couple of examples of some games and some software just to see what you can expect. But I currently have Uni installed and I have worked with it and it's almost like working on my desktop. Of course, this laptop is nowhere near as powerful as my desktop, but for me, it's fine. 